Hi, my name's Mike Shalapi, and I'm uh, talking to you today about hand cycles. I've, I've tried a few different hand cycles. I keep thinking of upgrading to one of the lower, fancy, more gears. But I, for me, I, I like just having the ability to get in my hand cycle in my garage. I live in a flat neighborhood, pretty secluded, not lots of traffic, and I cruise around and I stay in shape and that for me I chose it because that's more my purpose I'm not the kind of guy so much that gets in one on a Saturday morning at 8 o'clock comes back eight hours later and I've been a hundred miles around Utah Lake so it depends on your level of disability your fitness level your passion for hand cycling you know I'll go out and play tennis for two hours and hand cycle for an hour other people might want to go out on their hand cycle for five hours here in Utah they have the National Ability Center they have some hand cycles and there's organizations around the country and in Atlanta there's the Shepherd Center, in Minnesota there's the Courage Center, in California there's Casa Clean. I mean there's rehabilitation centers at most any large hospital chain where their recreation therapists would know about hand cycling and they could possibly lead you in the right direction. But you don't want to just go buy one without having seen them, tried them, talked to people that use them because it's kind of like a snowmobile or a motorcycle or even a car. They're all, they have different features and you just need to know what works for you.